All right, guys, we're playing Mass Effect again. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. What are you talking about? I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Yeah, what's up with the ship? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Mm. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the Captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Uh, what disease are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. How'd you get your nickname, buddy? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. That's no answer. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, hmm, and it stuck. Were you unhappy or something? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Well, take it easy. I have to go. All right, see ya. Check out the rest of the crew, see how they're doing. Oh, Alenko, buddy. Awkward. Anything you need, Commander? What do you think? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Do you? Any intentions there, Lieutenant? No, Commander. Just art appreciation. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Dude, calm, calm down. All right. Let's label it officially off the record. Got something on your mind? Straight up, there's something wrong with all of this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I hear you. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Um, that's alright. 
Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. What's the survival rate? Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of 100, maybe 60 have no effect. 30 suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. The other 10 show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Sounds rough. Jump zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Yeah, you never know. It's a big galaxy, Lieutenant. Who knows what will come in handy? If you say so, sir. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. Way to let your hair down, Lieutenant. Hey, Doc. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No, I'm good. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, are you okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yeah, she's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Hello. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. All right, tell me about Benezia. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. You sound troubled. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. All right, take it easy. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. What's up, guys? Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Just a short one? A small one? A little tidbit? You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah, 
that, that's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Uh, not exactly. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Whoa, 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 calm the hell down. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Your people really died? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So lots of people spread out. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Pausing recording. Unpause. <clears throat> Unpause. Ooh, let's hook everybody up. Oh, we can give her this. Give her the first aid interviews. Good. 
heat sink. The anti personnel round. Or the armor. Yeah, we'll give you the armor piercing round. Got any corn stuff? No. Personnel rounds. Give you the Avenger two. You already got the record that one. Awesome. Deuce. Pack. Let's hook you up with some. Give you the recoil dampener. Get that. Give me the hurricane two. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Uh, of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Oh, what do you mean? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Ugh. I can't confine them. What do you want me to do? I'm not gonna lock them in the sleeper pods for the whole trip, Williams. I'd be more comfortable if they didn't have access to engineering and the CIC. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Like, we need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Hmm. Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. 
It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel this way? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Family? You have a military family? I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Sea space? No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold bricking. Gold bricking. Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one I know who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapog boot camp, too? Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> Look. You have to work with aliens. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. What about me? Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. All right, I respect your opinion. How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. True. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. What up, Garrison? Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Did you now? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. I see. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. It's a tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. That depends. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. What? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. 
I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What's up with the licenses? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Manufacturers? What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Daryl. Avenger 4. Take the Metal Yellow upgrade. We're gonna give this to Leo. Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engine. Is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Yeah, she is useful. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. And she's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. What up, Tally? How you doing? Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. 
Wow, this ship's special. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. You're into ships? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Yeah, that was 300 years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Cool. I should go. See you later. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. Stake your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. We advised we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck.
That's far enough. Can I help you? Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. And who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm with the Council. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. I don't think so. Back away, nice and slow. All right, easy people. Let's not start a fight. Aye, aye, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Or what? Get out of here. Or what? I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Turians don't like the cold, Shepard. Did I ever mention that? Oh, you go back to the ship if you feel like. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thanks for getting us through. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? I heard there were Geth here. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Did she leave? Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. I'll need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where's Anal? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Why are there so many guards here? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here for them. I just want this lady. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. All right, goodbye. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, maybe we ought to tell Liara that her mom's here, or bring her along. It might take Benezia off guard. Yeah, we'll see. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Let's go find this guy, Analeas.
How can I help you? Uh, we just talked out there. I'm trying to see Annalise. I'd like to speak to Annalise. One moment, please. Mr. Annalise. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Wow, he sounds friendly. Why would they have so many windows if all they see outside is snow? You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm a specter. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Isn't lack of oversight risky? Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I'm looking for Matriarch Benezia. I've heard an Asari Matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What sort of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. You know why she's here? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. His what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is he developing weapons here? Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Rock gardens and waterfalls. Very zen. Watch your step here, Shepard. Technically, we're no longer in Citadel space. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Henchan. I'm listening. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Yeah, don't underestimate me. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeus. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Tell me about Binary Helix. Binary Helix? They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. All right, thank you. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all.
This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. You heard already? News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Sorry, dude, I'm just here to show. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Pardon me? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your my real intentions. Why can't you do it? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. What's this about, anyway? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Yep. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Okay, what am I gonna get out of this? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Go ahead. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. 
I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. All right, I got this. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Hi, I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I am. It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. That's correct. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. What about pain immunity? Is it possible to deaden pain somehow? What? Why, uh, we, we could try to make the skin insensate, I suppose. Full body numbness, atrophy out all the nerve clusters, you'd still feel internal injuries. But that's dangerously close to genetic engineering, Shepard. The laws only allow improvement of natural functions. We can't add or remove. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That seems kind of high. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Not everything I do is legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I'm beginning to. It's obvious you have no knowledge of genetics, which makes it highly unlikely you were sent by the Citadel. I want to know. Maybe I'm personally interested. Ever consider that? Then you should go to a gene clinic somewhere. I handle corporate accounts worth millions of credits. Good day, Commander. What sort of office did they make you? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on the list. Four minutes, of course. Any results? Vargas caught me. He figured out what I was up to and left. Unfortunate, but I cannot blame you for sharing my lack of success. We'll need to find another avenue to access Binary Helix. I wish I could have been more help. Not to worry. I will get what I want in the end. Good day, Spectre. Huh. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for Laura you? Laura Keane? Are you Laura Keane? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I need to get to Peak 15. Heard you're the man to talk to. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Uh, interesting coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. 
I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Well, if he's investigating you, how do you know the curtain? Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. The pass source? How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. Alright, I'm interested. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll figure something out. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? All right, we're gonna talk to Matsuo about this. If that doesn't work, well, <laughs> I tried. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Too bad the elevators aren't that fast when you're inside. Matsuo's not here.
Freeze! Henshen security. This office is sealed. What's going on here? What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. You two leave while you can. I'm going in there and I don't want to hurt you. Why don't you just go? We'll pretend this never happened. You want to cause trouble?
just looking for information on the I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Nope. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I'm on a mission. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. Try you!
I'm on it. I'm on it! and loaded. I'm on it! Locked and loaded. I'm on it! Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded.
Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? I'm entirely innocent. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Can I just buy something? Maybe later. Right now I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? I'm gonna buy some. Maybe later. Right now I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you.
Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why are you here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably but again. I need Keen's pass. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Speaking of business... Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas' pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. I'll consider it. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Alright, take the evidence then. I had to ask. If you're not willing, here's the evidence. I appreciate your discretion. I hope I will never again be so careless as to find myself in these circumstances. I believe you require a garage pass. As well, I would provide a sum of 500 credits. Does uh, that sound fair to you? Agreed. That'll be sufficient. I'm grateful for your help. My office will reopen with much improved profit margins, I dare say. I have some calls to make, starting with Mr. Analeas. Spectre, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? Nothing, I'm good. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I have a pass. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. What the matriarch had in the crates.
things. Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? I defended myself. Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I know what to look for. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the Vale. What is happening out there? I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. We gotta go.